Well, today's little expedition is to Bishop's Court. It Not says... been here before. For a long time, anyway. 1760. Come on. In. Oh, hello. <laughs> We've got another dog. I'm looking for <laughs> Hello, Dolly. Oh, we got two. Nice. So it's about uh, hey. tw 12 acres. The Glen is. There's the hill. Oh, Kathleen Eba. And uh, half a mile long. Always belongs to Bishop's Court. The house, anyway, sold of man as it was. Been on that site for seven hundred years or seven centuries. Sold in 2019 for six million. Had been rounded in his heyday. Has an open day every Timmel day. It's too windy to go to the hill today, so we decided we come down here instead. And it's still windy. The various ponds near were originally uh, mill ponds. Hey, there must have been a mill here at one time. What have you found there, my darling? I found myself a seat. I'm waiting for you. Hello. Can you tell us a bit about it? I don't know nothing about this seat, to be honest. Not this seat. <laughs> Leading <laughs> Glen. God. See what I have to put up with, folks. You see, this path, I think, is going to lead us to a cave at the top. Is it? Mm. And there was uh, some fella that was hiding in the cave. I forget the year. Oh, and the potato famine. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, the cave is, there's a seat in it. It's big enough for two people, so oh, it's me you're and in you luck. Then. You are in luck. Good job I've kept my weight off. <laughs> um, All the exercise I get these days, folks. There's a stone just before the cave, which I haven't actually found or known about before, so Supposed did a bit of research too, this morning. Um, let's have a look. But then I just think how lucky we are to be out and able to walk through these glens freely. Park and there's never hardly anybody in them. Ah, so yeah, near the cave is a stone with the inscription Craig Yin Bishop. Hmm. And what's that mean then? Uh, meaning Rock of the Bird. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. This inscription is presumed to date from around 1880. Oh, That's really? near your date of birth, isn't it? Where's the other dips? Actually, there's a little hut up here, if I remember rightly. There was years ago. It used to be a little cafe or something. Up here? I'm sure it was. Well, I mean, I never remember that. It, oh, they used to do arts and crafts, and I remember having a nosy. It's Not a like long you, that time. girl. <laughs> it's a long time since I've been through here. Whew. Autumn's hit with Avengers. We've had some really wet weather. Leaves are falling. Seasons start again. Six weeks till the winter solstice. Top spread out the other day, they're doing their job. I was watching one of them pop it out. It's six sheep done in 20 minutes. Oh, if only, if only. Here's the pond. You're it's up here. Oh, look! 
Look at that little toadstool. Oh, that's well cool. It's a little lonely toadstool. It is, there's loads. Oh, wow. Oh, Luke. Oh, duckies. I said this was what? originally a mill pond. Hello, ducks. Ducks, swans, geese. Apparently there's a water wheel around here somewhere, but I've never noticed. But uh, we'll go around that way. What's the seat say? Oh, the seat was dedicated to Roy Kenyak. I remember Roy. Oh, Penny. Penny's had a bath. What? She's just, I don't know if she fell in or what, but she's soaked. <laughs> Penny! Come on, doggies. Thanks so much for the wind today, folks. You'll have to put up with it. Something I ate. Crow of Bishop's Court Farm. Ah, we want the family of the crows over here. They farmed here for many years. It's bigger glen than I imagined it to be somehow. Doggies, let's go this way. They had the cafe, is it? Wow. Uh, no, it's it, it's not. I don't know what it is. The old fireplace is still in there. It's fantastic. Mm. Things are fine when you're having it. Looks like it's just a workshop. What? Just a workshop. Oh. <laughs> well, it's yeah, I think it's just a workshop. Is it? Someone who does woodwork or something. Alright. Yeah, Lovely, oh look. So it's had the, uh, must have been thatched at one time. Well, they put on for show anyway. I feel thatching stones. Fantastic. Like 
down again? Yeah. Come on then. See that? What's this, Carla? What's what? Are they? I don't know. Flowers. Hydrangeas. Are they? And still in flower. Amazing. <laughs> Middle of November. Watch your step there. Oh, thank you. That would have been funny, but... Yeah, funny. <laughs> See, I do care. You don't care. Do not <laughs> give me that. I do. <coughs> well, that was a nice little excursion. Something I've never known about before, anyway. To the old stone lintels over the little stream. And on we still go. Hey? On we still go. I'm starving. I'm hungry, so I think after this is a trip to the KFC. <sighs> I'm fading away. No, you can't tell for here. Ooh, another little bridge. Lovely. Look at that flow. That's fast, isn't it? All the, uh, it says well kept. <laughs> she managed to avoid the water. <laughs> There's the forecasting gale force winds today. Not the little deter us. Visiting list of ours, you. We're going to have to go to the top, there's no places to return halfway up. And we have some food you can feed the ducks. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. The contrast in the ground though, the cold is phenomenal, as this this time of year always shows us. Sure, it's only half a mile long. <laughs> it's only up here. I don't know, Carla, folks, it's always only up here, just round the corner. Not far now. It isn't far now, believe me. I like a lamb to slaughter, I believe it, every time. Ha! Look at that tree. That's funny, isn't it? One of last year's downfalls, I think. That's a tea tree, that. A what? It's a tea tree. You don't see the tea? Oh, I do, the tea tree. You're right, there's a cafe up here. 
Where? The Tea Tree Cafe. Oh, God. Ugh. She loves me, really. She just hides it very, very well. Except we're going to leave a few months ago, we had a hose, hose pipe down. Now there's water everywhere. Uh oh. Oh, it's the cave. Oh, well, where's the stone? We found the oh, cave, there's the stone. Don't. Oh. Hey. And we found the stone. Maybe it's here. Craig, not you, Shag. Lead me to the rock. That is higher than I. Well, I've never seen this either. Now we are into the cave. We should have had butties for this one. It would have been nice to have our butties in here. There is room for you. It's dark in here, my girl. It's nice. I like it. It's a little fire. <laughs> but it's all right to hide in, isn't it? Yeah, so tell us again what happened about this. Who used this? Oh, what was his name? I was just reading it as well. Hang on. It was a bishop, wasn't it? Mm, I don't think it was a bishop. Must have been a bishop. Mm -mm. Oh, yes, it was. You're right again. I don't know why you bother asking me. Bishop Murray. Bishop Murray, that's right. Eight, nine, eighteen. 1880. 1880. Mm. Right, because his wife, Lady Murray, she did all the pond laying out and stuff down the glen. Ah. It's her job. Well, the dogs are not sure about the cave though, Carl, are they? No. It says, the shaping of the cave and the erection of the Gothic well are rightly or wrongly accredited to the wife of Bishop Murray. Where's the well? Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know either. Are we going to go back? Well, we'll go back via... Check out that mount, haven't we? Yeah, uh, we'll go back on the opposite side of the lake pond I, thing. I think we should go back on the opposite side of the lake. That's what I just said. Did you just say that? Oh, my God. See where it's Give them. me strength. Oh, my ass is wet. Oh, look at Somebody that now. That ass. <laughs> oh, it's soaking. Uh. Don't you worry, I'll slip down here on my own. I'll be all right. Did you read? Yes. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Roxy does not like little bridges. Oh, dear. You are funny, Roxy. You're a strange old dog. Well, what's up here? I've never actually been up there. All it right. could possibly just go round to the other side, maybe. I don't know. Right, we go up there anyway, we're here. Yeah, it'd probably lead to that path up the top there. You should fetch your kids up here. It's a lovely little glen. It's safe and there's places to explore. I think Laura and Lisa have been here. Have they? Yeah. I came with my mate Baz.
And on we go, folks. We're still forward going. A little slippery tree root of a nightmare. Roxy, you can do it. We're heading up and towards Kirk Michael Hills. Another a little bridge. Have we reached the top, Carla? Hey? Have we reached the top? This is the top. And now we've reached the top, we're going to start going back. Normally I try to cut out a lot of the, uh, the walks we do because they can be um, just a walk, but I'm quite tempted to leave this in for you folks, really. Because it is pretty, and you can uh, fast forward or stop it, whatever you want to do if you don't want to watch it. It's definitely worth visiting, though. Huh? What a lovely day, there. Uh. Another path there. I don't know where that goes. Well, I want to take us back. No, it's going around that way. This will take us back. Well, that. Come on. Oh, Kelly's behind. <laughs> Usually Carla does the walking and I do the talking. But uh, you may just want to change. So as I said, we're coming down now on the opposite side of the glen. This is not so well used as the other paths. And uh, we've got to get to the end of the glen and we're going to investigate a uh, man there. There's a bit of history of it as well. Isn't that pretty? The ivy clings to everything. Eventually it pulls everything to the ground. As I said, it's a lovely, well-maintained little glen. All the bridges are intact. Not slippery, well not today anyway. Loads of rhododendrons, azaleas. Must be quite colourful in the when they come out in flower. Found a hydrangea still in flower. As usual, the dogs are with us. We're debating where they got a puppy next year. Um, both dogs are getting on a bit. And I've never been without a collie in the whole of my life. I've always had a dog. Carla has too for most of her life. I've always found if you have a puppy with another dog that's trained, it's much easier to train your puppy. So well, maybe that'll be the plan. We've got a name for it. She's going to be called Jodie if she's a girl. Hey, 
you can see where the old wind has took up here. Trees though, even up here, sheltered and still. Managed to take them down. You couldn't use a wheelchair in here, that's impossible, but I think for most people who can walk, it's a good little place. As I said, the tree roots are very slippery. I haven't got me proper walk boots on today. What do you think, doggies? Come on, Penny. You know, as a manxman, I'm quick to criticise what happens in the Isle of Man and how bad things are. But praise where praise is due. And we've done lots on this little grind to make it usable. All the bridges are nice. Footpaths are tidy. The steps are easy to use. So I'll full marks to people who've done it. Have the foresight to keep it going for us. I remember going to Lake District a few times after been to Lake District. And um, Lake Lens wouldn't be any better than this, but you could you'd be parking miles away, then you'd have to pay, and you wouldn't be on your own. Like, we're up here today, not a soul, not a soul. <laughs> Carl is using me steady cam as a Sayoon. It's an absolute nightmare to set up. Look at the tree there, Carl. The people have been up here carving their initials in it. How come it doesn't move by itself? <laughs> Roxy almost uh, bowed down to the bridge. She hates the bridges, doesn't she? Yep. We keep asking why we do this. Why do we do it? And um, we could because they love it. They love the Alaman. A lot of people don't live in the Alaman, but have lived here or got friends here. They can't see it. They thought we do things you can't normally see on the telly. It's more about Alaman's not just cats and TT races. And no, we don't make any money out of it. We do it because we want to do it. And nobody owns us. Go on, Roxy. You can do it. Oh. that way? Yeah. Nobody tells us what to do. If we go somewhere this private we get permission. We venture out most weathers. I'm sorry about the wind today in the old microphones but hopefully you'll be able to pick us up. Carl has got a muffler on. So have I. These little streams here will be used to fill a mill pond. They say there's some wheels around somewhere, but I haven't seen them yet. That's another wee pond. Opposite side of the pond, or is this another one? Uh, no, it's that. There's another one there, we didn't come to that one. Now, uh, Carla will get credited today for a bit of the uh, camera work. Huh. Oh, that's a big pond. Lovely. Oh, and another bench. Go on, Ray. You tell us who's on the bench. Who's, who's on the, this bench, then? If love could have kept you here, you would have never, never have gone. Loving memory of Marcus Paul Pegan. 
Much loved son, grandson, husband, daddy, brother, uncle and friend. 12th of January 1971, September 2008. Loved and missed always. Must have been one of his favourite friends. Ah, oh, look at them two idiots. What do you think's going to happen, you two? What do you think's going to happen? I'm waiting for a stick, I reckon. We'd be getting quite professional with this car. <laughs> really? I can see me doing a lot more of this video. <laughs> okay. Well, the ducks are coming in and I think there's food about. Come on then. <laughs> Come on, Penny. Penny! Invested in some uh, radio mics by road. It's a bit disconcerting because you can hear us from a while away, but I like nice, I like good sound. As I said, it is windy today, so I'm not sure how much you'll pick up. Gale force winds today, 60 miles an hour. So they say. Look at that old tree there, Carla. A gnarled old thing, isn't it? And there's a beach, I think. As you can probably tell, dogs are allowed up here. Just keep them under control, apparently. You lead me up the garden path, Ray. I'll lead you up the garden path. Definitely. Oh, mushrooms. Well, we're coming to the end, I hope. It's been a very fabulous time out. Totally enjoyed it. Hope you do as well, folks. Hear the crows chattering away in the trees, interrupting their day. Oh, well, that chattering was bad language for go away. Where do I go this way? Come on, girls. Come back here at the start now. She's so blase. She's like, yeah, in a minute. So this is a Aeolus Mound, which has got quite a bit of history to it. Can't remember it all. It's, it's such like a replica of Timwald Hill. And remember when we did St Luke's, wasn't it? Yeah. But from there, that, that hill. It does have a Timwald Hill look about it, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it says that there's another one in Kirkmichael, but this isn't it, I don't think. 
Right. I mean, I was just guessing because it looks just like it, but... But then again, that's not a, a natural fact that this isn't it. Because it was a Viking gathering place, wasn't it? Yeah. And the Vikings is way before this. This is just where they put the... Uh, what's that guy's name again? Oh, Hildersley, Hildersley, Bishop Hildersley. Bishop Hildersley, yeah, that's the, yeah. With the Bell, the Bell Isle um, shipwreck washed up just down from Bishop's Court, almost at his feet. So he came. Bishop, Bishop Hildersley. That's it, yeah. yeah. He came up here and he, and he placed it here. Do you want to read that out as I run down? Okay. Can you get it? This mound was formed into its present shape and called Mount Alias by yeah. Bishop Hildersley to commemorate the victory of the English over the French fleet under Thurrett off this coast, February 23rd, 1760. The bishop of the ship Belle Isle was, oh, what's that say? Originally, placed on this spot, but two cannons are all that remain as trophies of the victory, but the cannons were actually uh, robbed. So this is the only thing that remains now, is this and stone. The, the guy captain of the fleet called Thuro, wasn't he? Thuro, yeah. And the, the, there, was, there was a couple of bits of wood that were also from, uh, no. Off the boat, off the French boat. So. I think so, yeah, but anyway, there's a house called Thurrock Cottage. Up and Bride. Up and Bride, and, and they're on that house. Which have been built into the house. Yeah, yeah. Was it Was it off the boat, washed up from the boat? Well, didn't it land at Bishop Hildersley for feet on yeah, the beach? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was some of the Be Belle Isle timbers. <laughs> it's a little windy were used for the construction of the cottage, Thorot's Cottage, and there's a sign up north saying, pointing to Thorot's Cottage, yeah, and I always thought, who cares whose cottage? I know, <laughs> no, I never knew. Like this, yeah, this is great. <laughs> I never knew at all. <laughs> I'm like, great, Thorot's Cottage. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little bit more of history I didn't know either. Imagine the French fleet being off our coast. I know. Again this morning I was thinking, oh gosh, it's a windy old day.